Hi friends, welcome back, it's Suzanne. Happy Sunday. Today I have an awesome, amazing remote work from home opportunity because it's with the company Discord, a very reputable company. Everyone or most people know what Discord is, especially if you have children. I know my son is always on Discord talking to his friends. So this is a great company and this is a customer experience associate. Now what's nice about this is for all my California subscribers, this is this company is based in San Francisco, California, so they're hiring either in California or anywhere remote in the US, so pretty much open to anybody. And I believe down below I even saw a salary for you New York, so all those states that typically get outed in these work from home jobs, I think you're gonna be able to apply for some jobs here. So let's take a look at this job. They're a group of customer experience wizards at Discord, and they're looking for someone who's equally passionate about supporting others with that extra bit of care and problem solving magic. You will need to have epic levels of empathy and unwavering patience as they troubleshoot diabolical technical issues. This includes helping the users to slay setup stumpers, outwit overlay obstacles, pulverize permission problems, and much more. Reporting to the associate manager, you'll be on the front lines of supporting the communities, listening to their feedback, and sharing these insights with other teams to help make the Discord experience the best that it can be. If you're looking for a supportive team, join them. All right, so what you'll be doing, your weekly schedule will look like this. Sunday through Wednesday, it's gonna be 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. Pacific time. So this is an evening shift. Thursday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So that you can see here they're looking for something very specific, but if these time zones aren't right for you, don't jump off because I'm gonna tell you how you can still apply um, at Discord. Provide accurate, accurate and thoughtful responses to the user's requests through all of the support channels. Help educate and provide useful troubleshooting steps for technical issues that our users face on the desktop, browser, iOS, and Android versions of our app. Identify and escalate issues to ensure rapid response to the latest trends and opportunities. Monitor user sentiment and provide relevant feedback to the teams. Participate in social media efforts and messaging and keep a finger on the pulse of the community. So here's what you need to have. A cover letter. One of the most important steps, don't skip it. They want to hear from you what motivates you, any previous experience you'd like to highlight, and why you would like to join Discord. So when you create this cover letter, make sure you've done a little bit research on Discord, or if, unless you already know a little bit about it, and explain why you want to join the Discord team and company. Passion for supporting the users with unravering patience, technical skills, passion for building communities, prior customer service experience. Now, it doesn't say anything about needing a degree, so no degree, and it doesn't even say how much experience you need. So if you have any customer service experience at all, make sure you put that on your resume, and then I'm thinking that's going to be enough if they're interested in you. Commitment to diversity and, in and con inclusion. <laughs> Now, bonus points. So these are kind of preferred qualifications, but not required. Experience with support ticketing applications like Zendesk. Familiarity with social media management tools. Previous exposure in supporting web applications. Again, those are not required, so don't hesitate if you don't have those. Okay, so certain states have minimum, minimum salary requirements. In New York City, the minimum salary will be $68,000 plus equity and benefits. Colorado residents will have a minimum salary of 61,000 plus equity and benefits. So I'm guessing that the salaries are going to be very close to that in other states as well. Um, it's just that they probably have to disclose that they are providing a minimum salary here for these particular states. Here's some benefits and perks, comprehensive medical insurance, mental health resources, holidays, parental leave, stipends for headphones, your remote work setup, and lunch on a daily basis. So they're gonna pay for a lot of your equipment here. They're gonna cover it, that's awesome. They're gonna give you flexible long-term work options, remote or hybrid, so they're gonna give you a choice, volunteer time off, a diverse slate of employee resource groups, 
commuter contributions and other perks for office-based employees. That's if you're gonna be an office-based employee. All right, so you can read a lot about the company down here. They give you a lot of information. Of course, there's the apply now button. Uh, you can't click it on the screen here. Obviously, that's not gonna work, but I'm gonna put that link down below in the description for you so that you can go there and apply for this job. Now, for those of you who didn't have the qualifications we talked about earlier, Discord is one of those companies that is hiring multiple positions. So if you can't work the night shift, you're gonna look for a customer service experience in the day shift. So you're gonna look for that AM versus the PM in the job description, okay? I'm gonna put the link to that Discord career page as well so that you can go and check out all their jobs. And uh, I'm pretty sure most of them are open to remote in the US. If I think it tells you in the uh, job description pretty clearly if they're open to that. So uh, if this job isn't right for you, make sure you're subscribed. I put up job leads every single day. I try to do one to two, or you can also click on this end screen right here and it's gonna give you one of my most recent work from home job leads and you can check that out as well. All right, let me know down in the comments if you made it this far. Uh, do you use Discord or do you have kids that use Discord? I'd love to hear your stories. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.